friends anew, and welcome to Tales to my very own streaming channel where I can do anything I want. I can share news, at-home airplane repair tips, or, you know, just chill. But today, I've got an extra special show planned for you, with an extra special guest, my best blue bud, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, buddy. It's been a while. What you been up to lately? Oh, not much. Chillin'. <laughs> cool, man. Nice shades. <laughs> Thanks. But that's not why I brought you here. I've been getting swamped with questions from fans, and I could use some help answering them all. Wait, you're coming to me for answers? My, my. How the tables have turned. So do you think you can stick around and help me take questions from the chat? Anything for you, pal. Let's do it to it. Cool. This one comes from King Motor Papa. Your planet strikes me as especially odd. Care to explain yourselves? Explain your whole planet. Wow, I'm glad we're starting off light. Our world is a pretty crazy place. We've got checker pattern soil, floating islands of various sizes, and natural loop-to-loop -loop rock formations. Ah, the twisty, bouncy beauty of nature. What more could an adventure-hungry hedgehog ask for? From orbit, you can see these massive continents, right? They're full of fascinating countries, each with their own unique cultures and people. I particularly enjoy sampling all the regional dishes. Mm-mm, me too. Yeah, each different culture's take on chili dogs. <laughs> I like to consider myself a connoisseur. What you can't see from orbit are all the islands dotting the oceans. There's a bajillion of them. I'm originally from Westside Island, which is where Sonic and I first met. Folks like us usually live on these kind of islands, while people like this live in the bigger countries. Wow, you really covered it, buddy. You sure you need me here for this? <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. Here, you take this one. Okay. <clears throat> this question comes from Sonic Fan Forever. Oh, I guess Knuckles wrote this one. <laughs> if you can run so fast, why do I see you in a race car sometimes? Because it's cool. Next question. This next one comes from I Heart Jewels. Be a deer and tell me everything you know about the Chaos Emeralds. Where did they come from? Maybe some tips on how to find them. Uh, well, actually, I don't know where the Emeralds come from or where they are now. I usually don't go looking for them unless I need to stop Eggman <laughs> from getting them first. Even though we see them pretty often, a lot is still unknown about the Chaos Emeralds. When used together, the seven Emeralds grant unlimited power, but even one can be dangerous in the wrong hands. They can be used to power deadly machines or even warp time and space. Bad news if Eggman gets a hold of them. Yeah, but when I get them all, I can turn into Super Sonic. I'm all gold and super fast and flying and woo hoo hoo Man, I wish I was that cool. Uh, dude, you can fly anytime you want. And you're also like a super genius. You're basically the coolest guy I know. Oh, come on. Well, uh, let's get one more question in before we wrap it up. This one comes from the Spiral Hill Fan Club. Settle a debate for us. That pink hedgehog we always see with you, is that your sister or your girlfriend? Do they mean Amy Rose? How many other pink hedgehogs do you know? Hey, I'm a popular guy. But yeah, Amy's not my sister. She's just a really good friend. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, she may have started out as my number one fan, but now she's an important member of our crew. She'll always go out of her way to help others in need, and that makes her a real hero. You know, I'd love to get Amy on the show sometime. Hmm, maybe I can make this a regular segment. Just hanging with pals, answering questions. I could call it... Questions for Miles, or the Prower Hour. How about the Sonic Scoop? Hmm, I love it. Well then, Tails Tubers, we'll see you next time on the Sonic Scoop. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it?